Blair, we could be seeing some of the uh, the remnants of mm. tropical storm, tropical depression, I should say, mm -hmm. of uh, Hillary moving into the east side of the state uh, as early as tomorrow afternoon and early Tuesday morning. But I want to focus on just some of the incredible uh, rainfall amounts. And I'm not going to hit on all the storm reports, but you can kind of see uh, some severe weather obviously move through throughout much of Southern California and continues. But take a look at some of these rainfall amounts. Uh, this is over in San Diego County. Rain accumulation anywhere from an inch and a, an inch and a half in a few lo locations. But take a look over here. Uh, Borrego Springs, six inches of rain. Now again, some of these heavy rainfall amounts are throughout the mountains. They kind of the rainfall amounts were kind of exacerbated a little bit. Yeah, no r big surprise. We're still seeing some flash flooding throughout parts of California and even into Vegas. And there's a chance we'd be seeing some of those uh, the flooding concerns throughout eastern Oregon as well as some of that uh, storm moves north a little bit here over the next 12 to 18 hours. But looking on the satellite radar right now, you can kind of see some of those showers moving in into parts of Reno and Nevada right now, but this is kind of the uh, brunt of that system that's starting to make its track north as it does. It will be knocking on parts of Baker City's door burns uh, heading into tomorrow and into early Tuesday morning. The other thing we're tracking is the smoke and haze. Now, unfortunately, that rain that I'm forecasting throughout eastern Oregon is not going to be impacting us here on the west side of the state. We're just going to be dealing with uh, hazy and very uncomfortable conditions, although temperatures will be a little bit cooler heading into uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'm expecting to see the uh, really the, the smoke and haze clear out of the metro area by lunchtime tomorrow. It will be light by the early part of the afternoon where it's going to be really thick throughout the central and eastern side of the state. We're talking to Shoots County, uh, Sisters, uh, Bend, and Redmond. So if you can avoid being outdoors over the next a couple of days, uh, that's probably well advised. As we look at the storms, they're going to continue to move through uh, just basically southeast of Bend, heavy cells moving in. So there, the thunderstorm threat is going to be uh, pretty intense. So you, not only do you have some of the remnants of tropical uh, storm Hillary, you also have the chance of thunderstorms that could increase the heavier rain. Now, we all need the rain and parts of eastern Oregon does, but I think we need a little bit more since we haven't seen much of a drop of rain here the last few weeks or so. Right now we're looking at a temperature of 72 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, and I know it's kind of tough to see because it's still pretty dark outside, obviously, but it's not clouds that you're seeing out there. That is all that thick smoke that's been filtering in from wildfires burning throughout Washington State, Eastern Oregon, and of course Canada as well. And that heavy smoke and haze is going to continue heading into tomorrow. Again, I'm expecting to see afternoon clearing. Earlier part of the week is going to be much cooler. Again, daytime highs for Monday and Tuesday, upper 70s to low 80s. Gradually see our temperatures warm up heading into the middle part of the week, and especially the Thursday, Friday. Speaking of Thursday and Friday, that's when we could be looking at temperatures bouncing back right around 90 degrees. Uh, watches and warnings look like this. Because of that smoke and haze, uh, the metro area and throughout parts of Lane County will be under that air quality alert. Flood watch is in effect throughout parts of Baker City, Burns, and kind of the east side of the state because of tropical depression, Hillary, and we also have the threat of thunderstorms. There's going to be a pretty active weather uh, moving in over into the east side of the state along I-84 tomorrow, so be aware of that if you're going to be driving in that direction. Temperatures today, we came close to seeing a high of 90 degrees despite all that smoke and haze, and we're looking at temperatures close to 80 degrees over in Astoria. So over the next several days, we'll continue to see summer-like weather. We're not going to be seeing a dramatic cool down, but we will be seeing our temperatures warm up a little bit heading into the later part of this week. So for tomorrow, the early part of the afternoon along the coast, temperatures in the upper 60s. Again, throughout the I-5 corridor, we'll be looking at temperatures in the low 80s. Haze and smoke tonight. Overnight lows will be right around the mid to the upper 50s. I should change that. Your overnight lows will be warmer or say cooler than 70. That's a mistake on my part. Temperatures uh, for tomorrow, though, will be right around 80 degrees. And on that seven-day forecast, smoke and haze to start off the work week. We'll gradually see our temperatures warm up a little bit by Thursday and Friday, low 90s. A slight chance for some showers heading into Saturday and a chance for those showers carry over into Sunday. With those showers, there could be some thunderstorms for next weekend. I'm looking forward to those showers. I think a lot of people are. <laughs> I, I hope too. they come. All right, Joe, thanks.